a very special thanks to my YouTube channel members. Through their dedicated support, they make this and all other videos possible. If you'd like to see your name here, please click the join button and become a YouTube channel member today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 27 of RB Plays, FTB's Revelation Pack. That's right, folks. We are back in our modded world. My name is RB Plays. Thank you so much for joining. If this is your first time here, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and get notified every time we put new content up on the channel. Uh, so last time we were together, we worked on uh, Deep Resonance. It is dark outside right now. Uh, but we worked on some Deep Resonance right over there. We got our first crystal. Um, and because of uh, a few things that are going on, I, uh, I've decided that the distribution me mechanism that we have over there for the power, the uh, the power cell, is not going to be adequate enough. So what we're going to do, and I'm hoping that this will work, I haven't tried it yet, but we're going to make another uh, dimensional transceiver, right? We should be able to make a dimensional transceiver, uh, but in order to make the dimensional transceiver, we do have one issue, and that is the, the components that are made in the slice and splice. Uh, so this guy right here, the ender resonator, it does not, uh, it doesn't work all that well. So the ender crystal, um, we need one of those. So we need a vibrant crystal and that shouldn't be too difficult. So vibrant crystal. We're gonna need to make this manually also because this part hasn't been automated yet. So give me a vibrant crystal. Yes, please. I have uh, a couple of endermen in some soul vials here. We're gonna put, we're gonna stash him away for right now because reasons. Uh, so there's our vibrant crystal. I need you and I need you. And how many levels do I have? Six. That should be enough. Um, and then uh, the uh, ender, this guy. Uh, can I, I can't craft those because I'm pretty sure that that doesn't work. So I'm going to need a couple of pieces of solarium. Uh, two, please. Yes, please. So give me those. We'll take these down to our uh, down to our basement where our soul binder and our slice and splice are, and we'll get this stuff all crafted up and cr and and create uh, ender resonator. So the ender resonator. In order to make you, we need an enderman head. We need a piece of vibrant and a couple of pieces of silicon. Okay, so vibrant. We can have that made up here real quick. Like, give me uh, no, just one of those. So that. Yes, please. We need an Enderman head. We actually have 30 Enderman heads now, which is awesome. Uh, and then we also need some silicon. So silicon we have plenty of because, oh, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, I went ahead and put together one more little piece of automation back here at the uh, cobble works because uh, we could have done this all in one block with the with the the stonework factory from Industrial Four going, but as you remember, we had all of this making uh, cobblestone, gravel, sand, glass, right? Uh, well, I also now have added uh, a a sag mill to take sand and turn it into silicon. So we have lots and lots of silicon now, which is awesome. Uh, figured that was the easiest thing to do rather than trying to make the one from industrial ore going because that needs the the pink slime and all that and I didn't feel I didn't really feel like getting into that so we just need that piece of vibrant now which should be complete yes it is uh, and we should be able to go and make this uh, right now in our in our basement but we got to go up to go down it's kind of like that scene in cars where you said you got to turn left to go right you got to go up to go down oh this way nope this way I'd like to get this staircase put in today. I'm not sure if that's going to happen or not. Ooh, that was a that was a that was a bone from a place and a thing. Um, I want to thank Ryu once again for his comments. He uh, he left some comments on our deep resonance setup, which is cool. Uh, he did men he did explain how the pedestal works. In the pedestal, basically uh, sets the uh, crystal block down in the place that it's pointed towards, which I was not aware of. Uh, that's a painting machine. You so you plus you use okay is my is my slice and splice not down here my slice and splice is not down here yeah that's the soul binder i need slice and splice where's that at but yeah he explained that the uh that the uh the pedestal only points to the side that's the the darker side of that uh of the pedestal or yeah the pedestal only places the crystal to the darker side and it won't place it on itself which i thought was a thing in the early days of deep resonance but again it had i haven't done anything with deep resonance in several minecraft versions so 
I was probably mistaken. Aha, there's my slice and splice. So you guys, you guys, you guys, and you guy. That will give me my ender resonator. Cool, that's now back in here. So if we go and put you in there and we do a dimensional transceiver, we should be able to make that, yes? It says all the stuff is there, yes, yes. Waiting on fused quartz and we should be good to go. Machine doesn't accept item, which it does, it's just we're just waiting for it to come back. Cool, cool, and that should be it. So, transceiver, yeah, there's the guy. That's what I'm talking about, booyah. So now let's go and put him over here uh, at, our, at our base. Because we're gonna want this guy to, to, to power kind of himself. And I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put him, eh. Honestly, I think I wanna put it right here. Do I have any cables? I do have ender cables. So if we just kind of do this, if we break this block out of here, right? And I want him to be, I want him to be here. So if we just do this, and I'm gonna bring it down one level too. Mostly because I don't want it to attach to that. Uh, which we can we can definitely break that, but I just I don't want to even mess with it if I don't have to. There's that, and we'll put you right there. Yes, please. We need a capacitor. We need a capacitor. <laughs> we always need capacitors. I always forget the capacitors because I'm an idiot and forget capacitors, and I gotta go make one right now, right quick, uh, because he will not accept any. Uh, he will not accept any uh, any power until he has one, which is unfortunate. Um, uh, a couple of you commented on my computer problems. Thank you so much for the feedback on that. I do appreciate it very, very much. Hopefully, we can figure out what's going on with this thing. Uh, I did up the RAM uh, in the uh, in the in the game. I did up the RAM to uh, ten gigs. Uh, and it seems to be working okay. We're, alloc we're at 63% allocated. We're only using about 40% of the RAM uh, at, any given, at any given time. And so that's cool. Uh, capacitor. We have, oh look, we have octatics. Yay. So we'll put an octatic in there. That's cool. And then we're going to set up a channel uh, for this guy to send out power. Got to be careful not to get going too fast though, right? So... You get powered, yes please. And then we're gonna set you, we're gonna set up a deep res. Add, and we're gonna have you send power out on deep resonance. Um, now the whole key here is, remember, remember, we're trying, oh, hey look, it just kicked on because power dropped down. Oh, and it's doing two, it's doing two of those? Cool. Dude, that's awesome. That's like awesome. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. So the, the whole key here is, is that when this thing drops, when this power cell drops below 85%, then this will kick on the, uh, the controller and we'll get power made from those crystals, which is awesome. Uh, but because we're doing that, we, there's one thing we need to be careful of, and that's, uh, that's uh, radiation. But before we get involved in the radiation stuff, I want to come over here because over here, let's eat some bread. Um, we need to we need to change this around a little bit, right? So you you are currently getting power from these two guys. You're getting power from the solar array, and you're getting power from coal. I need to stop sending coal power over here because that's that's actually taking power away from my base and away from processes in my base, and and I don't I don't want that to happen, right? The power in my base is for my base. This here needs to run on the power that we've got set up. So the solar array, and now we can actually also set it up to run on deep resonance. And so now that should be fully powered. And if we look over here, he should be running. He should totally be running when we get over here. He is completely running. That is awesome. Yep, he's running. And it's going to cycle like that because this is generating a lot of power. Like, how much power is this generating? 
he's generating a lot he's generating a lot of power and we're starting to see some effects like hunger so that means that radiation is a little bit out of control over here so let's go and take a look at what we need to do to uh, to kind of take care of that well what we're going to need is some blocks uh get into here so Generator, controller, resonating liquid crystal, smelter, purifier, lens, valve, crystallizer, pedestal. Doesn't, I don't think it, oh, radiation, right. So a running generator will produce generate uh, radiation. The amount of radiation as well as power of this radiation depends on the power of the crystal um, and the purity of it. A 100% pure crystal that is not overcharged will generate very little radiation. That's probably why we only experienced hunger over there because those crystals that we were creating, they were only at like 98.8%. So that's pretty pure. Naturally spawned crystals are not pure, but they contain, but, uh, but because they contain little power, they don't cause a lot of radiation either. So we don't have any natural naturally occurring crystals because we use those in the generation of our um, in in the generation of the the purity modifiers and the strength modifiers for the crystals that we were creating turning generator off will not immediately stop the radiation depending on the strength of the radiation it will take uh, it can take a while for it to completely disappear um, now there are ways that we can monitor this so we can we can build ourselves a uh, radiation monitor which I think we're going to do um, we're going to want that radiation monitor um, so that we can kind of check and see what levels of radiation that we have. And then there's also a way that we can, uh, that we can kind of frame in the, the radiation and keep it from spreading throughout the world. And that is gonna be through a couple of other blocks that I don't seem to see in the book. So let's go look in here. Uh, and we'll see how we gotta see how we create how we craft those how we create those. So at deep resonance, uh, we're looking at this block here, dense obsidian, and also dense glass. So the dense obsidian, of course, is a solid block. It uses spent filters and four pieces of obsidian to create four blocks. And then we also have uh, dense glass, and that is using, again, four filters, a piece of obsidian, and four pieces of glass. And that makes it so that radiation is contained inside of the room or inside of the place where the, uh, where the radiation is taking place. So what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to go over here to our uh, a deep resonance base after I sleep the night away because mobs. Um, we're gonna need to go over here and we're gonna need to collect some of our spent filter material. And while we're at it, we probably should just make some more filters because I don't know how many are over there. So filters, uh, filter material, that'd be this. So let's do that and then just do a whole stack, I guess. We'll put those over there. Cool. Like this should start showing signs of keeping power now because I turned, I'm not sending power over to the, to the void ore miner anymore. I do need to check the resource miner. The resource miner might have, might still have power going to it, but I'm not sure. Anyway, let's grab this. Uh, let's put that in there and let's grab this and this and that and that and that should be fine let's get out of here because hunger but by the end of today's episode we should have that kind of all closed in and then we should not have any more radiation that we're going to have to worry about right uh and then i also put up a poll so if you guys go to my if you guys go to my youtube page youtube.com slash rb plays and uh, check the community tab there's a poll there and the poll is asking what do we think we want to do next uh, and, it, and the choices are some of the magic mods, because we do need to get into some of those magic mods, like Batania and uh, Blood Magic and uh, Thaumcraft and all that. Head on over to the, uh, over to the community tab and take a look at that and, and give, me your, uh, give me your feedback. Chime in on what you think we ought to do next. Um, the results are kind of surprising me right now. Let's just, let me just say that right now. The results are kind of surprising me. I'm not, I'm not at all upset about the results. I think the results are interesting. But uh, it would be very cool for y'all to, to give me your feedback and let me know what you think we ought to do next. Anyway, we need to make uh, dense obsidian and also dense glass. So dense obsidian. I figure we're going to need... Hmm, I figure we're going to need a, a good... I think we're probably going to need... Uh, can I make a stack? No, I can't make a stack. Am I out of obsidian? I am out of obsidian. Ugh. That's unfortunate. We're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to turn this guy back on, which I was not looking forward to doing because this guy uses a ton 
Uh, this guy uses a ton of power. Uh, a ton of power. He's using 200 RFs per tick. 200 RF a tick. That's a lot to create. Uh, to create lava, which will create obsidian, which will, you know, do what it does. Anyway, let me get some obsidian coming in, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. Uh, I'm, as soon as we get ready to make the dense glass. I'll, make, I'll finish making up the stack of this that we need and then we'll get into the dense glass and, and then we should be able to, to show you what we're gonna do with that stuff over at the base, so hang tight. Sometimes drastic measures call for drastic solutions. I had to put an ender tank here. Okay, so now that we've made a fair bit of obsidian and uh, we've also got our dense, our dense obsidian done, I think we're ready to make some dense glass now. Uh, how much obsidian do I have left? 34. That might, that might be enough. Uh, I want to get, mm, I want to get, well, we're going to have to just, eh, can I just, I don't know how much of this we're going to need. So let's just, can I get a stack? Yeah, I can get a stack. Cool. All right. So we got a stack of that. We got a stack of that. It's nighttime. We have to sleep. We must, we must sleep. Sleepy sleep. Sleepy Sleepenstein. I also finished one other thing while we were away because it's on AutoCraft and it's something that I can do super easy. And that is, ta-da, we have a whole wall, a whole wall of, uh, of furnaces or generators now. So you're making power, you're making power, you're making power. You guys are all making power. And eventually you will start filling up again. And that will be wonderful because that is what it's about. Beating the game, making power, right? All right, so you are currently offline, yes? You are currently offline? Why are you currently offline? Like you should be using power right now, shouldn't you? You should be. Um, you, should, you should be using power right now. Anyway, I don't know about that. Um, so what we wanna do now is we wanna kind of build a room around this stuff so that uh, any, any like radiation that's in here doesn't escape, escape. So I want to put you down like so. And I don't remember if, whoops, I don't remember if the blocks under, oh, this is super slow to break. Uh, I don't remember if the blocks that are part of the floor have to be made out of, out of dense obsidian. I, I don't recall. If you guys remember, let me know, not, know down in the comments. Uh, but I want to do this. Uh, here's, that, uh, here's that place right there. So the pedestal will place a block um, can this kill me? Um, the pedestal will place the block on this side, right? So right now it's placing on the floor, which, eh, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, nothing in there's done yet, so let's, that's fine. So I wanna do this, and then I wanna have access to this. I wanna be able to see, uh, if I do that, then I can't, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if this is gonna work or not. Um, I want to put the glass on here, right? So the glass needs to go about like, I want to be able to see this stuff from outside. So we're going to do this. Uh, this back here, I don't think I want this side to show. So let's go ahead and get that and get that. And let's do this, like that. And this side I want to show because I want to be able to see it from the front. And then we'll do another row of this on the top. Kind of sort of like this. And then we need to figure out how we're gonna close it in on the front so we can see. Uh, if I do this, right? And then I do this, we can see that, which is cool. Like that's super cool. And then we can do this. Actually, you know what? I can break this right here. I don't need this. And I can just do this. Kind of like that. Um, and then here in the front, the only part that I'm not sure about is this. I'm guessing that radiation can get through there. I'm guessing. But uh, the other question is right now, why is, uh, why is this? Why is this not why is this not running because it it totally should be right I think over here I, I'm pretty sure that this is online so it it should be running right you are getting power from the solar array and the deep resonance yeah items send and receive items 
shows you have power, which is cool. Let's check this guy out back here real quick and see what he looks like. I don't know how he's set up. Power, just coming from the solar array, so we'll set him up on deep resonance also. And that should give him more power. Maybe. And by putting him online, the deep resonance generator probably kicked in, I would guess. We shall find out here momentarily. Yeah, he's running. That's cool. He's cool. He's running. Yeah. He only runs for he only runs for a second. He's not uh, not super fast. Uh oh. Got ourselves a got ourselves an eclipse happening. That's not good. That's not good at all. Um how how can we fix this so that I can close this off? Actually, how are we doing on radiation here now? You know what we should make? We should totally make that radiation meter or that radiation monitor so that we can see what the radiation looks like. And it is dark from this solar eclipse. Booyah, baby. Mobs spawning everywhere and everything. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so let's make this radiation monitor and we can go over there and, hey, things are, Things are happening, that's cool. All right, so radiation monitor, radiation, that's not how you spell radiation, radiation monitor, this guy. So we need a clock, that's easy enough. One clock, and then a couple of compi, compasses, and then that should be it, radiation monitor, sweet. So let's go check and see what the radiation looks like. No radiation detected. No radiation detected, no radiation detected. Of course there's no radiation over here because why would there be? Radiation, radiation, radiation. Now is the radiation chunk based? Aha! So this, I think, I think this is the beginning of the chunk right here. Let's check our chunk, our chunk lines. Okay, it's not chunk based. Radiation is 36, 43, 59. Aha, it's a lot. Radiation is, uh, well, 800. I seem to recall that it's not bad until you get into the tens of thousands, but I could be wrong. Like I could totally be wrong. I wonder, can I use a radiation, or can I use a, let's check something here. Uh, let's check, Let's first of all, let's turn this off. Can we use, uh, redstone conduits on that. Would redstone conduits do the same job? I think they will. I think they will. And we should have some of those, so that shouldn't be too difficult to work out. So let's get some radi er, some redstone conduits. Um, con, do it. You can do it. One of you, please and thank you. Uh, you can go there, you can go there. Oh, you know what? We don't have a roof on that either. <laughs> that would probably help. That would help keep the radiation down if we put a roof on that. Right? Sure it would. I am going to do this. I'm going to put you right there for a second. Yeah, yeah, I see you, radiation. I see you. No. Watch me need that block, like, right now. No, well, maybe not. So that's closed in now. Give me this. It'll break, but it's not going to be super, super bad. Oh, how much three? 970. Oof. Yeah, that's kind of high. No bad effects, though. Like, I'm not experiencing hunger right now or anything like that, so... And there is a radiation suit that we could put on if uh, if we felt like that would help. If I get rid of you, and I do that... Oh, you won't connect. Dang it. Can I force the connection? Can I force you to connect? Sometimes that's a thing. I can. Aha! So now, how does this work? So you're going to receive an input. You're going to be an output 
on red. Output on red. Input on red, output on red, output strong signal. I don't think that's working. Don't think it's working because you should be, I, I want to say you should be running right now. Like what is, well, maybe not, maybe not. And he does have two crystals in here too. So that's probably one of the reasons why he's running so swiftly running so, uh, you know, making as much power as he is. Um, if I break you and put the redstone back down, does that, do you turn back on immediately? No. So it might actually be working. Let's try it. We might just have to wait and see if it actually does anything, yeah? So yeah, your input and your output I think it's strong signal that I want right and I guess I just need to wait and see if this is gonna do what it's gonna do so hang tight and I'll come back to you in uh, in just a minute as soon as I can see if this is gonna give me what I want I should know here fairly soon I would think yeah yeah when all else fails, I've been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth between redstone and uh, and, this, and this conduit. And, and I don't know why I didn't do this before, but when all else fails, all you have to do is this. Just turn it on. Hey, look, it works. Imagine that. So now what I need to find out, now what I need to find out is if I can make a conduit cover out of this, like a facade. So let's go take a look at that, and if it does, so if I'm standing right in front of that conduit that's right there adjacent to the generator and my radiation spikes way up, but if I'm standing anywhere else, radiation is way down. So that being the case, I think, oh, hey, look, net gain, net gain of power, I love it. Uh, with that being the case, then by using the painting machine, which is downstairs, uh, we should be able to um, hopefully make it so that radiation is no longer an issue. So facade. Conduit facade, yes please, give me one, thank you. That should only take a second to make. Uh, factory blocks, get into those eventually. Might only, might only take a minute to make a facade. Like it shouldn't take that long, it's just eight pieces of uh, conduit binder. Hello, there it is. All right, so give me you, let's go to our painting machine which is up here, up here, then down there, right? So over here, whoops, ran into a block, that's cool. So up here, then down here. And if this works, then I'm gonna call that, I'm gonna call that build, uh, I'm gonna call that build good. So you're my block and you're my facade and that's going to give me a painted facade that looks like that. Yes. Conduit facade painted with dense glass. I hope I hope that it carries the same uh, attributes. I'm flying. I didn't feel like waiting on the uh, elevator. But I hope that it carries the same attributes as the regular block that's over here. Because if it does, then that is a valid... Um, a valid way to keep the radiation at bay and still be able to access the machines that I need to access. So right now, radiation, no radiation detected? Okay, uh, let's turn you on more. Radiation detected. Radiation is at 7, 14, 21, 29. Okay, radiation's climbing, moving over. Oh, radiation comes down. So now radiation's down to 6. Radiation here is higher. Radiation is lower. Oh, radiation is not lower. Where is, okay, so, and I can't see the block either. Hmm, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. So what we might have to do is we might have to move the power cell, the power cell stuff out of here, 
and put it over here and and come up with a better way to do this that way but for right now I'm gonna call this uh, good until I can do some more testing in either a test world redstone world whatever or or here on the uh, on the on the old let's play but folks that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below. We'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, and we'll talk about it all in kind. Also, don't forget to stop by my Discord server where we talk about all things life, all things gaming, and all things Minecraft. But once again, folks, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to visit my merch store. The link for that will be down in the link below, and you get the official RB Plays merchandise uh, to show your support of the channel. But until next time, folks, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.